Good morning. <clears throat> we will begin Mass with a chanting of the entrance antiphon. Behold, the Lord said, as he entered the world, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. The Lord said, as he entered the world, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we gathered this morning to celebrate this feast of the Annunciation, the beginning in time of our redemption. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
to your will. Sacrifice or offering you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not, then said I, behold, I come. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me to do your will, O God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly, I did not restrain my lips, as you, O Lord, know. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here am I, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings, you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. 
And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who is called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As I was reposing the Blessed Sacrament this morning, a thought came to me, uh, this feast of Annunciation, when Christ became incarnate, uh, is where it all began. Where the Eucharist all began. With Mary's, uh, this beautiful exchange of the angel from God, Gabriel with Mary, engaging um, her thought her heart, her, her will, and uh, her yes to the Lord. That very last phrase, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done unto me according to your word, is when it all began. Of course, the Lord set the stage right away. It's all in his mind uh, from the beginning. But it, he set the stage in the book of Genesis and by calling together his people and also we hear in the letter to uh, the first reading from the prophet Isaiah of the prophecy of Mary and uh, giving birth to Jesus. The letter to the Hebrews where which refers to the sacrifices that took place with the people of God throughout history and, and pointing forward to the sacrifice of Jesus and his love for us on the cross and resurrection and the sacrifice that takes place here today in the holy sacrifice of the Mass. Where Jesus becomes present for us not just to adore, but also to uh, receive him into our bodies, as Mary did. And of course, that all begins for us with our baptism and the sacraments, other sacraments. We give thanks to the Lord today for our Blessed Mother and for his great love in setting the stage uh, for him uh, to be join, uh, join his divinity to our humanity and his great love and to give himself to us down the ages to today in his blessed sacrament.
Let's stand and together profess our creed and our faith in the Lord. And at the words, um, and by the Holy Spirit, uh, we will genuflect today as we do in the Christmas season. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now offer our prayers of petition to the Lord. Father, we pray for... Uh, the church throughout the world, for especially those who are persecuted, those who are unable to practice their faith to worship you uh, and to give praise to your name in public, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our country and for the world's in this, with this the coronavirus, pray for all those who are affected, infected by it, those who are sick, those who care for them. Pray for all health care workers, for uh, all of our citizens who, all the citizens of the world who are uh, affected. Lord, and we pray for an end uh, for a controlling of the, the virus that we may return to a life that you have called us in a way that we have um, learned uh, and what you have spoken to us uh, through, this, uh, through this crisis. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick, those who are dying, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For, all, for those who are without basic necessities of life, for those without shelter, food, clothing, uh, for uh, meaningful, gainful work, those who are without um, the love of family, those who feel lonely and isolated, we pray to the Lord. Let's pause for a moment and offer our personal prayers in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those uh, women and men, those who are, uh, have conceived a child, Lord, that you would, especially those who are, um, feel that they, uh, their only option is to, to have an abortion, I pray that they would see the gift of life within them, that they would have courage to seek out the necessary support uh, to bring this child into this world and for an end to For an end to legalized abortion and all those organizations, 
that support it and procure it and carry it out. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved dead, we pray especially for Eleanor Zachman, for whom I'm offering this Mass. Lord, may they enter into communion with you and all the angels and saints in heaven, the completion of the Annunciation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we ask that you grant all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Through the mingling of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Humble spirit. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering, so that she who was, is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaot, Plenis Unceli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, Qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium fidei, mortem tuam, annunciamus Domine, et tuam resurrectitonem confitemur, donet venias. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, his assistant Andrew, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. On you stay, quitolis peccata mundi, miserere on you stay, qui tonis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui tonis peccata mundi, dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed.
Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal glory through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Please kneel for the St. Michael prayer. St. Michael, the archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.